Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're going to be talking about fungus and the importance of mycorrhizal fungi in your soil. Um, I was just out here putting on my second coat of Ivy Organics, which is right here if you want to take a look at the can. And here it is. It's Ivy Organic. It's a 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, just out of water. It's a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for use on your fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. It's a non-toxic, environmentally safe and organic product. And today we're using color brown, as you can see. And again, we're now on our second coat. And you can do anywhere from one or two coats. And what we're doing this for now, being it's the second week of September, is offering a coat um, of protection to the tree to basically protect it predominantly from rodents. We've got an issue here in the Hollywood Hills with moles and voles and gophers and rabbits and squirrels that during the winter months get uh, especially hungry and there goes on um, the sound of a hawk overhead um, and during the winter months they, they get particularly hungry and they'll actually start gnawing on the trees and there's a phenomenon called this girdling which is where they'll actually chew along the base of the tree and we've actually lost the established lemon tree bearing hundreds of lemons to um, such a result of girdling uh, by one of these rodents that were in the soil so we've got it protected to hopefully protect it and get, it, get us through the winter, uh, as well as, as we read already, it offers protection against sunburn, sun scald, and protection from insects as well. Um, I'm happy to share with you that just next to me is my milkweed plant, and on my milkweed I discovered this morning that we've got a couple of these monarch caterpillars, which they were on the verge of extinction a few years ago, and you can see here that they're striped um, yellow, black, and white. I'm hoping you can get close enough so you can actually see these guys. But there's one here, and then the second one over here as well. So we, I've actually identified two on these plants. So we've got a few plants scattered around the property. Uh, but a quick um, share, this is actually a milkweed that's known as a tropical milkweed um, and is native to Mexico. So it's not the ideal plant to be growing if you're here in California as we are. Um, it's prefer to actually be growing California native milkweeds and we're in the process of actually integrating other species that are actually more native um, to actually result in better benefits to the monarch butterflies as well as other insects that live in the area. I've also got behind me in regards to California native, I've got right here this plant over here. So I've now got here on this side of me um, a California native plant and the um, reason and the logic behind California natives is to actually have um, species that are actually benefiting the insects and the birds and the um, wildlife that existed before we ever did. Um, so we've got a California native, this here is buckwheat known as conejos and um, as you can see it's a beautiful sil silver green um, plant with its yellow flowers. Um, but what we're going to do, and again the topic for today is, um, is mushrooms, let's go over to my left here. So here we are. We planted strategically that um, pomegranate tree a few feet away from the tree trunk of this plant. The logic and the idea behind it is as this tree um, decays and disintegrates, we want the nutrients of this tree and the tree roots to actually benefit the neighboring plants and trees that we've actually got in this area. Um, if you zoom in, and this is something that, um, again, we're here now in the second week of September, you'll notice that there's all these mushrooms actually um, popping up in different varieties. There's a brown one over here and a a white one over here and there's another one coming out of um, the tree trunk um, over there and and what these mushrooms are doing is they've attached themselves to the decaying wood and they're helping to extract the nutrients out of it and they're actually making it available to the plants around um, there's products such as these which I want to share with you One being made by Scott's, it says lawn fungus control, and you can see that it's causing all this brownness, but the brownness is actually caused by these mushrooms that are actually popping up, blocking the light in the grass and causing the, the brown spots. Um, so there's this product, and here's another product that also says um, Immunox Fungus Plus Insect Control. Um, the reason I'm sharing these with you is to basically ask the question, do we keep these or remove them? Are these beneficial for the garden or are they harmful? And, um, and I know I've already started about talking about how it's decaying and adding nutrients and stuff, but the answer is, as we know, 
is these are actually beneficial and we're actually happy and, and embracing the fact that these mushrooms are actually here in our garden. But this here is just the 1% of the actual activity that's actually happening in the garden. What's actually going on below the ground is there's something called is there something called hypha, which are the roots of the fungus that actually travel for hundreds and even um, hundreds of feet and even up to a mile um, in length. So even though these mushrooms are here, its roots can actually span the entire distance of a garden and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And what they're doing is they're creating a network of nutrients and minerals and, um, and also transporting water to help benefit and, and, and establish and stabilization among the plants. So when you actually spot a mushroom in your garden, the mushroom is just the fruit of the plant. I'm actually going to remove a piece so you can actually see it. And, and what you'll notice inside the mushroom are there's these actual gills, is what they're called, that run back and forth. And within the gills are the spores, which are the seeds that then will create the next generation of mushrooms. Um, be careful when handling mushrooms, do not eat mushrooms, um, consult with a mushroom expert um, before doing anything in regards to you know whether or not they're edible or not. Um, but again, when it comes to the mushrooms, the mushrooms are just a fruit, but what's actually happening underneath are these hyphae or these roots that are actually um, expanding throughout your garden. And again, they're traveling. Um, some research supports as much as a mile can fit on the uh, on the end of this tiny, and this is not even a teaspoon, this is less than a teaspoon, uh, but more than a mile of hyphae and roots of these uh, mushrooms can actually exist on just the tip of the spoon. Um, and this here, just an example, um, this um, spool of yarn is about 250 feet. So imagine we're talking about 5,000 feet or more of roots actually right here on the tip of the spoon. I'm just trying to um, draw the example. Um, and I'll share with you the more of the benefits of actually having these in your garden. There's one other thing I want to point out down below. Follow me. So here we are again. It's the um, second week of September. I'm next to my Valencia orange tree. As you can see, it's um, bearing some fruit. I know in the back, if you come along here, you can actually see that it's got some fruit. And the Valencia orange typically ripen between March and October. And it's actually going through another round of blossoms, as you can see here. Um, and the fragrant is just intoxicating. It's the most beautiful smell. But what I want to share with you is underneath, I've got my wood chips. And you'll notice that the wood chips are not against the tree trunk. In fact, it's about a foot, foot and a half away, as we don't want the decaying wood to affect the outer layer of the um, tree trunk. And this is another tree that's also coated with the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint color white to offer the sunblock protection. But the sun's not quite here in this garden at this, at this point. But what I want to share with you is if we pull back on these wood chips, here we go, if you come in a little closer, you'll actually see the hyphal roots or the roots of the mushroom. If you, I'm just using the stake as the point. But you can see these little white roots. And these are the roots of the mushroom that, are, that have attached themselves to another piece of um, mulch. And another important reason for actually organic gardening is, um, you can see actually there's some more roots off in this direction as well. So these hyphal roots are extremely beneficial to your soil, and I'm gonna to explain to you why right here. So the source that I actually got this from, I'm gonna give them credit, is um, gpnmag.com. And these are some of the benefits of actually um, having mushrooms, mycorrhizal, hyphae, you know, the fungus grown in your garden. One being reduced nutritional deficiencies. And again, the reason for the reduction of nutritional deficiencies is these hyphal roots are actually carrying the nutrients to the plant and offering that. Um, the second one is a reduction in fertilizer use. Um, again, because you're getting those nutrients to the plants more readily. Delayed wilting and water stress. And the reason is again, these mushrooms are actually um, absorbing water. And as there's a stress and need for water, it actually offers water back to the plants. There's improved growth, efficient acquisition of nutrients helps the plant maintain its optimal growing rate longer so the top growth and the root growth are not compromised. There's resistance to salt toxicity. It reduces root diseases attack and it helps to reduce the effects of stress on plants making them less susceptible to attack by root rot pathogens. Resistance to transplant shock, fungi established quickly um, in new soil environments unlike roots 
they have an ease in transplant shock by providing water and nutrients for the plant and serve as a buffer to help the plant adjust to its new soil environment. And it increases fruit and flowers. Since the plant now grow at their optimal rate, a result of reduced stress um, effects, edibles have the ability and the resources to produce more vegetables and more fruit. Plant researchers have proven that over 90% of plant species on earth would not have made it onto land had it not been for the fungus. Plants and fungus have a symbiotic relationship where they both offer each other something. The plants offer their sugars through the process of photosynthesis, whereas the mushrooms are offering nutrients and offering water um, during times of stress and offering um, resources that otherwise would not be available to the plant within the roots vicinity with it with not the capabilities of these mycorrhizal fungi um, hyphae and roots that can actually reach and span um, thousands of feet and even up to miles and also increasing the plants absorbency ability to actually pull in waters by anywhere from 100 to 1000 percent more so the importance of fungus in your garden is huge and I'm um, hoping that you actually, you know, um, think twice before spraying a product such as this, which would actually eliminate fungus in your garden. And it's also another important consideration when gardening and fertilizing your plants to actually grow organically. Um, using chemical fertilizers do not benefit these um, mycorrhizal fun fungus from actually growing and thriving in your garden, which actually depend upon decayed and dead organisms and um, you know, and having organic matter in your garden. So those are all reasons to actually grow organically. So it's important to grow organically. Growing organically actually fuels the entire life cycle of living things, both in the soil, as well as the caterpillars to my right, which are the monarch butterfly caterpillars, as well as the hawk. When I mentioned the word rodent, we heard it, you know, squailing earlier. So um, growing organically actually fuels and supports the entire life cycle. Using chemical fertilizers actually causes this life cycle to actually collapse. Um, and does not result in ultimate, ultimate plant health. Um, to reach the best results, you need to grow organically. I hope you found this video informative, and if so, be sure to like it. I'll include a few more links down below with other related videos um, if you've enjoyed this, and, um, and most importantly, subscribe down below so you'll be connected to all the other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint videos. Thanks again for watching, and happy gardening.